In The Curse, you'll see a lot of reflections. That's because this show is about people who lie to themselves. At the heart of the show are three of the greatest characters ever made. A narcissist, a narcissistic addict, and a man-child with crippling OCD. I, you know, I just don't want to lose the discount. People in real life aren't predictable. The most generous person you know can be selfish, and the quietest person you know might yell. The curse understands this, which is why its characters are so good. Take our narcissist for example, Whitney. On the surface, Whitney spends most of her time trying to uplift a poor town and sell environmentally friendly houses. When we picture a narcissist, we don't think of someone that's charitable and worried about the planet, which is the exact point. It seems like she only cares about herself, but she usually does the right thing in the big picture. What should I think of her? People like Vic just do not deserve to be part of what we're building. Whitney's husband, Asher, is so insecure and obsessive that he records his own conversations and listens back to get better at talking to people. Asher has OCD, but more importantly, he's an overgrown baby. He throws temper tantrums whenever he's embarrassed and is completely dependent on his wife. But at the same time, he's basically nice to most people and is more self-aware than his wife or Dougie, the addict. The curse doesn't make Asher's character obvious. Am I supposed to hate this guy or feel bad for him? I just met him. I was giving him okay, a chance. Never again. He, he's he's not, never again. He's fired. Okay. I'm firing him. Thank today. you. Dougie is the perfect alcoholic and third wheel. He's too sensitive, manipulative, and really, really lonely. No one wants to hang out with him, so he spends his time drinking with teenagers. Dougie isn't a good guy, but should I hate him because he's a manipulative addict? Or should I feel bad for him, like Asher? Believe it or not, I have a job to do. I'm a TV producer, okay? And my show just got picked up for 10 episodes. The key to the curse's characters is contradiction, both internally and with each other. But there's one thing they all have in common. They're lying to themselves. You know you can tell me anything, right? Of course. Whitney and Asher's main goal is to sell mirror houses. When someone looks at the house, they see a distorted reflection looking back. There are distorted reflections all throughout the curse. That's because our three anti-heroes don't see themselves clearly. They can't be honest with themselves, and it's central to who they are. I asked if you love me. When you have a friend in a bad relationship, it's easy to tell. It seems like they keep telling you the same bad story over and over, but for some reason, they can't see the pattern. That's because it's always easier to see someone else's situation clearly than your own. No one is 100% honest with themselves. When you throw in mental illness, it becomes even harder, which is why the characters in The Curse seem to have no self-awareness at all. You know, I think you do need to think about the things you say around a bunch of people, as opposed to the jokes you make only with me. Whitney doesn't like Dougie. It seems like she can tell he's not the most trustworthy person. Dougie feels the same about Whitney, who he can tell is totally performative and self-centered. They both can't really stand Asher because he's cringy and fake, Asher, for his part, can tell that Whitney and Dougie are both full of it. It's obvious that these three have no problem reading and understanding each other. Just like most people, the biggest problem isn't awareness, but specifically self-awareness. You're not a material person. So why is Asher lying to himself? Why do any of us lie to ourselves? The curse does a perfect job explaining the answer. When Whitney asks Asher to take a corporate comedy class, he asks her, Are you going to take the classes too? Despite being the most uncomfortable person ever, Asher can't admit to himself that he's not funny because it's too embarrassing. When he calls Whitney out for being unsupportive, she doesn't even respond to what he's saying because she can't accept how selfish she is. Dougie is the king of denial. He tries to convince Asher he was cursed based on the fact that his wife died while he was drunk driving. He can't come anywhere near knowing himself. Just because Whitney has a moral issue with something that's happening, we just toss it away? Just like our trio, the reason we lie to ourselves is because it's too painful to tell the whole truth. Instead, we see distorted versions of ourselves, like the reflections in the curse. But this show is about how those lies can curse your existence. By the end of the show, our three characters are overrun by the lies they tell themselves. Asher literally floats away from Whitney and disappears, transforming into the baby that he really is, at the same time, Whitney has a baby of her own and forgets all about Asher, but she's doomed to the curse of a son who will resent her narcissism and eventually not need her. Dougie is left all alone once again, finally feeling guilty about what he's done to another close person in his life. 
I'm so sorry. The curse doesn't just get the characters right. It takes on controversial topics like gentrification without being cringy or oversimplifying them. It's really hard to predict what's going to happen next, but nothing that happens feels unearned. Above anything else, the curse is always completely original. When Seinfeld came out, it was iconic, but it was also a three camera sitcom, which we'd seen before. House is the most memorable TV doctor ever, but there have been plenty of other shows about doctors. Even Breaking Bad, as legendary as it is, isn't the first show to follow a criminal running an empire. It's so rare to see something that doesn't remind you of anything else, and that's how I feel about the curse. What other characters remind you of Whitney, or Asher, or even Dougie? When have you ever seen something like Asher's joke in the comedy class? Everything in the curse feels original all the time, and it's incredible. Really? Thank you! Thank you very much! <laughs> when Nathan Fielder and Benny Safdie announced a show starring Emma Stone, I didn't have any clue what to expect. Now that it's over, I can say that I never knew what to expect, and I loved it. There isn't a single detail in the show that isn't carefully considered and controlled, but you wouldn't be able to tell from watching. It's a wild, captivating ride, and if you haven't yet, I'd suggest you hop on. You won't see anything like it again. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out. Stay tuned, and I'll see you soon.